yake amba sina kungoa media mia Ananiya kuika ni kwenye mtego wa utumiaji wa dawa za tu vijana hao am- walikuwa vielelezo na haswa kanisani wamejipata kwenye dimbu la ukiwa na kukata tamu tunangamua wazidana hawa kuanzia kwa sara mwana haraka idia wanarika wenzake mhalifu aliyebadilisha mwendo ta ukombozi ya mbizi isia za safari ndefu fanywa upya hata kukiwa na pingamizi ndani na nje ya vitongoji hivi anaendelea na nia yake isiyotingika kanisa na wanaojitolea wasimama kama mwanga wa tumaini kupanda mbegu ya mabadiliko mbozi kwa Michael kuza jamii iliyo njema na hayo hatuwezi kusahau kanisa safari kama sio rais rafiki tutangana na hivyo katikati ya mapambano ndipo ninapoanza ungana na chin tv kila jumamosi Jioni na Jumapili na nusu ukombozi zangu tukiri dhambi zetu kudhimisha mafumbo matakatifu na Mungu nanyi ndugu zangu kwani nime kwa mawazo kwa maneno na kwa kutitimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi ndio maana na muomba Maria mwenye kwa daima malaika na watakatifu nanyi ndugu zangu niombeeni kwa Mungu Mwenyezi atuhurumie tusamehe dhambi zetu sima wa milele Kristu utuhurumie Bwana utuhurumie Utukufu kwa Mungu juu mbinguni na kwa watu walioridhia Tunakuheshimu tunakuwa tukuza na kushukuru kwa mkuu e Bwana Mungu Mungu Baba Mwenyezi Yesu Kristu mwana pekee e, mwana kondoa wa Mungu mwana wa mwenye kuondoa dhambi za ulimwengu mwenye kuondoa dhambi pokea ombi letu mwenye baba utuhurumie kwa kuwa takatifu peke yako 
peke yako ulie juu kabisa Yesu pamoja na Roho Mtakatifu kufu wa Mungu Baba amen tuombe e Mungu sanya mataifa mbalimbali katika kuungama jina wajaliwa waliozaliwa upya katika kisima cha wawe na umoja katika imani na matendo ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitu siku zile na Yohane kumponya kilema kumponywa alifuatana nao wote wakawakimbilia kwa mshangao mbi wa Sulemani hayo aliwaambia wa Israeli Mbona hayo Mbona mna... kama kwamba sisi kwa nguvu zetu kamilifu wetu tumemwezesha Mungu wa Abrahamu na wa Yakobo zetu amemtukuza Yesu wake mlie msali na kumkana mbele ya Pilato alifungua lakini mlimkana mtakatifu bilifu mkadai mfungaji mlimuua mama lakini Mungu amemfufua katika wafu sisi ni mashahidi wa ma- na kwa kuwa mtu huyu mmona na kumjua kwa jina lake jina lake na imani ipatikanaye hapa huyu afya nzima mbele yenu haya ndugu kuwa mlitenda hayo kwa kutojua wakubwa wenu lakini Mungu alitekeleza aliyotangaza kwa vinywa vya manabii ya kwamba masia wake atat basi tubuni mpate kufutiwa ili nyakati za raha kwa Bwana na am- tayari kuja kwenu ndiye huyo ya mpasa kuni mpaka nyakati za kutengeneza pia alivyotangaza vya manabii wake watakatifu ni kwa maana bwana mungu wetu nabii kama mimi yeye msikieni anayowaambia Biza nabii huyo atafutwa katika Pia manabii wote na wafuasi wake katika unabii zitabiri siku hizi Toto wa manabii na wa Mungu aliwapangia baba zetu mwambia Abrahamu si vyote vya dunia vitabariki wako hasa kwa ajili Mungu amemfufua mtumishi wake ili awabariki kila mmoja wenu na maovu neno 
zaburi ya kitikio ewe bwana wetu jinsi gani jina lako duniani kote Bwana Bwana wetu Livyo tukufu jina lako duniani Wewe Bwana Bwana wetu Livyo tukufu jina lako duniani Mtu ni kitu gani hata na mwanadamu ni nini jali ewe wetu jinsi gani lilivyo tu duniani kote umemfanya go chini ya Mungu umemvuta utukufu na heshima umem ya kazi za mikono yako vyote chini ya miguu yake wewe bwana bwana wetu nani lilivyo tukufu jina lako dunia kondo na ngombe wote hapini ndege wa agani wa baharini kila kiumbe njia za baharini lako duniani kote shangilio la injili haleluya haleluya Aleluya aleluya Hii ndio siku aliyoifanya Bwana tuifurahie na kuishangilia Aleluya 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 Bwana awe nanyi. Somo la injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Luka. Wakati ule wale wanafunzi wawili walisumulia yaliyotukia njiani jinsi walitambua katika kumega mkate. Walipokuwa wakiongelea bado mambo hayo Yesu mwenyewe alisimama katikati yao akawaambia Amani iwe nanyi Katika mahangaiko akawaambia Bona mnahangaika na kuona shaka mioni mwenu Tazameni mikono ya Mniguse na kuona kwa maana mzimu hauna mwili na mifupa kama ninavyo mimi baada ya maneno hayo aliwaonyesha mikono na miguu walishidwa bado kuamini kwa jinsi walivyofurahi na kushangaa basi akawaambia mnachakula chochote hapa wakampa kipande cha samaki wa kuokwa akakitoa akala mbele yao kisha akawaambia hii ndio maana ya maneno yangu niliyowaambia nilipokuwa bado nanyi yani na manabii na zaburi halafu akawafungulia akawafungulia kwamba Kristo atateswa na siku ya tatu atakufuka kutoka katika wafu kwa jina lake ihubiriwe toba na maondoleo ya dhambi kwa mataifa yote kuanzia Yerusalemu Ninyi ni mashahidi wa mambo hayo. 
injili ya bwana kisha akawaambia hii ndiyo maana ya maneno yangu niliyowaambia nilipokaa bado nanyi yani lazima yatimizwe yote yaliyoandikwa katika sheria ya Musa na manabii na Zaburi halafu akawafungulia akili wapate kuyafahamu maandiko tumsifu Yesu Kristu wakati Kristu alikuwa bado anaishi na wanafunzi wake alikuwa amefanya tabiri kuhusu mateso ambayo atakayowapitia kufa kwake msalabani kwa kupewanwa na Wayahudi na pia kufufuka kwake pia hata katika ishara na yale mambo alikuwa yanazungumzia lakini maandiko matakatifu yanatuambia kwamba mawazo ya wanafunzi wake yalikuwa bado yamezimbwa na hawakufahamu Kristo anamaanisha aje wakati anamaanisha kufufuka kutoka kwa wafu. Na tunaona wakimkana mpaka dakika ya mwisho wakati wa chakula cha jioni. Kila mmoja anamwambia mimi siwezi kukana liwe nini? Mimi siwezi mimi siwezi kukusaliti liwe nini? Mpaka Yuda abaya aliye msaliti. Hii ni kwamba walikuwa watu wa imani haba na ndio Kristu bado anaendelea na kuwafundisha anaendelea na kuwajalia imani anaendelea na kuwajalia neema hata baada ya ufufuko ili waweze kuyafahamu maandiko na ili kwa nguvu ya utukufu wa ufufuko wake wanafunzi wake waweze kuwa mashahidi katika Yerusalemu na miisho ya dunia na ukufunuliwa akili na kuweza kuyafahamu maandiko kunaweza kuashiriwa na somo letu la kwanza ukilisikia hilo somo na umtazame mtakatifu petro baada ya ufufuko alikuwa mtu ambaye alikuwa anafanya mambo kwa hisia tunamuona katika bustanini getsemane na uchomo upanga kumtaka kumkata mtumwa wa askari sikio tunamuona wakati Kristo anatabiri kuhusu kifo chake Petro anamwambia wewe uwezi yao hawezi kukupata lakini baada ya ufufuko na baada ya miujiza ambayo inapatikana katika jina la Yesu anapata kuwa shahidi ambaye ananakiri ana maandiko Ananakiri kwamba Mungu ni Mungu wa Abrahamu, Mungu wa Isaka, aliyemfufua Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Na anaweza kuambia yote aliyandikwa na yote alitimia kulingana na ambavyo alivyoandikwa. Sisi kama wa Kristo wa baada ya ufufuko, wa Kristo wa Pasaka. Ni neema gani ambazo tunaweza Mwenyezi Mungu ila neema ya kuyatafakari na kuanjua ma, na kuyajua maandiko matakatifu what other privileges can we pray to god apart from the privilege of being opened our mind and understanding the word of god then apart from the other privilege of being witnesses na haya tulikuwa tunatafakari wakati tulikuwa tunafanya jia ya ibada ya msalaba kwa tunaambiwa Kristu huwa anakuja mbele yetu kama mambo mazuri a virtue we are made to witness to Christ when he appears as, as he appeared in the tribunal of Pilate when he appears to us as a virtue and when and Barabbas comes when he appears to us as a vice and this is what it means by giving witness wakati ambapo sisi watu wa ubatizo kama ambavyo tumeomba katika sala ya kuanzia tuweze kuwa watu ambao wanaonyeshana imani yao sio kwa maneno tu mbali hata kwa matendo na hiyo ni kupeana ushahidi kuhusu fufuko wa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo tumuombe Mungu atujalie neema ambao aliwajalia mitume ambao aliwajalia 
watakatifu wa kale tukifahamu fika mtakatifu Paulo ambaye ambaye alijaliwa hii neema ya kujua maandiko na akaandika waraka ama nyaraka 13 kushuhudia tu fufuko wa muombe neema atupatie neema kama ya mtakatifu Agostino ama neema kama ya mtakatifu Yeromimo Jerome ambao walipenda na kuyatafakari maandiko matakatifu ya Mungu na ukisoma tafakari zao utaona kweli walijaliwa hii neema ya kufunuliwa akili zao their minds were open to understand the word of god tuombe neema ya kuwa kama mashahidi wa imani ambao huwa tunawasherekea mara kwa mara ambao walimshuhudia Kristu mpaka kufa kufia dini sababu ya witness to the resurrection kutoa ushahidi kwa ufufuko wa bwana wetu Yesu Kristu walifahamu fika kwamba kama ambavyo Mungu alimfufua Kristu kutoka kwa wafu hata wao wakimshuhudia Kristu ambaye ni mfufuka hata wao wataweza kufufuliwa so swali ni je sisi kama wa Kristu mbona tuko wa Kristu si ni kwa ajili ya neno la Mungu na kwa ajili ya sakramenti za kipasaka sakramenti ya ufufuko wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu ambao fumbo yake huwa tunaitangaza katika ibada ya misa na katika meza ya altari pale ambapo tunaelekea kusema Kristu alikufa Kristu alifufuka Kristu atakuja tena na wakati ambapo tutampokea tutampokea Kristu mfufuka aangaze mawazo yetu tuweze kufahamu mafumbo haya kipasaka naweze kuwa na umuhimu katika maisha yetu tumsifu Yesu Kristu Saleni dogo ile sadaka yangu na yenu ikubariki kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Bwana apokee sadaka mtumoni mwako. Pasifa na utukufu wa jina lake. Pia kufai sisi na kanisa lake la mtakatifu. Eh Bwana, tunakuomba uwe laadhi kuipokea dhabihu hii. Tunayo kutolea kwa furaha kwa ajili ya hao waliozaliwa upya na kwa ajili yetu tunaohitaji utusaidie. tendo la kufaa na kuleta wokofu kukutukuza kila wakati e bwana lakini hasa wakati huu kutangaza utukufu wako kwa kuwa Kristu pasaka wetu ametolewa sadaka ye die mwana kondoo wa kweli aliyodoa dhambi za ulimwengu ye die aliyangamiza mauti yetu kwa kufa kwake aliyatengeneza upya uzima kwa kufuka kwake kwa sababu hiyo katika upeo wa furaha ya kipasaka ulimwengu mzima unashangilia lakini pia nguvu za mbinguni na majeshi ya malaika wanaiba utenzi wa utukufu wako wakisema bila mwisho
Tazama bwana kondoo wa Mungu. Tazama ondoe dhambi za ulimwengu. Eli yao walio liko kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo. Number two hundred and ninety-six on page one hundred and eighty-five. Christi, roho ya Kristo initakase mwili wa Kristo uniokoe damu ya Kristo inichangamshe maji ya ubavu wa Kristo yanioshe mateso ya Kristo nguvu ya injishie e Yesu mwema unisikilize katika madonda yako unifiche sikubali nitengane nawe na adui mwovu unikinge saa ya kufa kwangu uniite uniamuru kwako nije na watakatifu wako ni kutukuze milele na milele amina
watu walio bali na Mungu zitangaze fadhili zake leo ita mtoke gizani na kuingia katika mwanga wake wa ajabu haleluya tuombe e bwana yasikilize maombi yetu ili mabadilishano haya matakatifu ya ukombozi wetu yatuletee msaada kwa maisha ya hapa duniani na kutupatia furaha za milele kwa jina Kristo bwana wetu bwana awinani awabariki mwenyezi baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu Nendeni na amani haleluya haleluya Hymn number 387 on page 214. O Lady, full of God's own grace, whose caring hands the child embraced, who listened to the Spirit's word, believed and trusted, Puchin TV. And forward ever, backward never. So move ahead. Ahead, ahead. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV. Kitambulisho katoliki. I would like to appreciate the Kapuchin TV. We are very very grateful and we always encourage people of goodwill, our Christians to continue supporting the Kapuchin TV. The only Catholic TV, the only one in Kenya, imagine, the only one. So let us support them. They cover most of our masses here at the Basilica. So as individuals, as groups, let us support uh, Caption TV because they continue uh, reaching out, reaching out to the people of God, wherever they are, to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually. So Caption TV, thank you. May God bless your ministry. Tuendele kufanya kazi Baby number 5106678 account name Caps TV You are watching Capuchin TV for any complaints comments or compliments on our programming You can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Ni 
Mpendo muumini tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Baada ya baba mtakatifu Francisco kuwateua makuhani wawili kuwa maaskofu wa saidizi kwenye jimbo kuu la Nairobi, yanakaribia maadhimisho ya kuagwa, kupokelewa, kuwekwa wakfu na shukrani zao. Ijumaa, tarehe 5 Aprili, itafanyika ibada ya misa ya kuaga Monsignori Simon Peter Kamomoe na Monsignori Walis Nganga kutoka nyumbani kwao, dekania ya mtakatifu Clara Gatundu. Ibada hiyo itafanyika kwenye parokia ya watakatifu mashahidi wa Uganda mjini Gatondo ikiongozwa na askofu David Kamau kuanzia saa nne asubuhi. Baada ya misa, wateule hao wakisindikizwa na mapadre na waumini wataelekea kwenye kanisa la parokia ya watakatifu Petro na Paulo mjini Kiambu. Wanatarajiwa kufika hapo mwendo wa saa nane mchana na kuwasalimia waumini. Baadaye, mwendo wa saa kumi alasiri, Wateule hao watawasili kwenye kanisa kuu la Holy Family Basilica mjini Nairobi ambapo watapokelewa na mhashamu askofu mkuu Philip Nyolo, mapadre, watawa pamoja na waumini wengine. Saa kumi na moja jioni itafanyika ibada ya sala ya jioni kwenye kanisa lilo hilo ambapo maaskofu wateule wataahidi uaminifu katika huduma ya waskofu pamoja na kukiri imani. Ikuwe jioni ikuwe asubuhi siku ya kwanza nayo siku ya pili jumamosi tarehe sita, itakuwa siku ya kihistoria ya kuwekwa wakfu maskofu wa teule monsignori simon peter kamomoe na monsignori wales nganga ibada ya misa itafanyika kwenye uwanja wa shule ya st mary's eneo la msongari kuanzia saa nne asubuhi Msimikaji mkuu na kiongozi wa ibada atakuwa mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu hapa nchini, Mwashamu Bat Van Megen. Kwaya itakayoongoza itatoka kwenye dekania ya mtakatifu Clara Gatundu. Waumini wanaombwa kufika mapema na kuwa wameketi ifikapo saa tatu asubuhi. Rangi ya litrujia itakuwa nyeupe ama dhahabu na mapadri wote wanakumbushwa kuvaa kasula ama chasubo. Baada ya ibada, maskofu hao wawili watajiandaa kwa shukrani siku itakayofuata. Ikuwe jioni, ikuwe asubuhi, siku ya pili. Siku ya tatu, Jumapili ya pili ya Pasaka ama Jumapili ya huruma ya Mungu, Divine Mercy Sunday, itakuwa tarehe saba Aprili. Siku hii itakuwa siku za shukrani za wahashamu hao wawili. Mwashamu Simon Peter Kamomoe ataongoza ibada kwenye kanisa kuu la Holy Family Basilica Nairobi mjini misa ya saa mbili asubuhi na saa tano asubuhi. Mwashamu Alice Nganga naye atakuwa nyumbani pamoja na waumini wa parokia ya Yesu Kristu Mfalme eneo la Karinga. Ibada ya misa itaanza saa tatu na nusu asubuhi. Ikuwe jioni, ikuwe asubuhi, siku ya tatu. Matukio na ibada za siku hizo tatu zitakujia kikamilifu na taadhima zote hapa tu. Kapuchin TV, maneno na matendo, masomo na maombi, mavazi na mapambo, maelezo na maelekezo. Kwa kuwa, Kapuchin TV ndicho kituo cha kipekee kinachoweza kukuletea hayo bila kupunguza ama kuongeza chumvi. Mungu abariki Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi pamoja na maaskofu wake, mapadri, watawa na waumini wote. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho chako Katoliki Yesu mwana wa Mungu
kweli amefufuka ahadi ya timia mzima amefufuka Yesu mwana wa Mungu Yesu mwana wa Mungu leo amefufuka piga vigelegele piga vigelegele leo amefufuka Praised in unison, you are conquering hard, O oh Lord, for wisdom opened mouths that were mute and gave eloquence to the tongues of infants. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we are celebrating this Mass and praying for the intentions and for the Monsignor Simon Peter and Monsignor Wallis Nana, may the Lord continue to be with them as they prepare for the Episcopal ordination area for God's blessings, Virginia Wairimo for thanksgiving, Eric Odima and family for thanksgiving. We also for our personal intentions. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most grievous thoughts. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated in the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, while the lame man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the patico called Solomon's, as thou did. And when Peter saw, it he addressed the people men of israel why do you wonder at this or why do you sh or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we had made him walk the god of abraham and of isaac and of jacob the God of our fathers glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of 
Pilate when he had decided to release him. But you denied the holy and righteous one and asked for a murderer to be granted to you and killed the author of life whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses at his name. By faith in, in his name has made this man strong whom you see and know. And the faith which is through Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. But what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that this Christ should suffer. He thus fulfilled, Repent, therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed to you, Jesus, whom heaven must, re must receive until time for establishing all that God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. Moses said, The Lord God will raise up for you a prophet from your brethren, as he raised me up. You shall listen to him in whatever he tells you. And it shall be that every soul that does not listen to that prophet shall be destroyed from the people. And all the prophets who have spoken from Samuel and those who came afterwards also proclaimed those days. You are the sons of the prophet and of the covenant which God gave to your fathers, saying to Abraham, and in your posterity you shall you shall all the families of the earth be blessed god having raised up his servant sent him to you first to bless you in turning every one of you from your wickedness the word of the lord thanks be to god Response of Psalm. Response. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. O Lord, our God, how majestic is your name through all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. Through all the earth, what is man that you should keep in that you should keep him in mind, the son of man that you should care for him? O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Yet you have made him little lower than the angels, with glory and honor. You crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. You put all things under his feet, all of them, sheep and oxen. Yes, even the cattle of the fields birds of the air and fish of the sea that make their way through the waters. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Oh 
the acclamation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, the two disciples told what had happened on the road to a mouse and how Jesus was known to them in the breaking of the bread. As they were saying this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened, and supposed that they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do, you, and why do questions arise in your heart? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit has not flesh or bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they were still disbelieving for joy and wondered, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate before them. And then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you. While I was still with you, for everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached. In his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to these things. The Gospel of the Lord. We continue to reflect on the post resurrection experiences of Jesus Christ. And today's readings are a continuation of what we had yesterday. The first reading is when Peter was entering into the temple. And of course, through the faith in Jesus Christ and the word in Jesus Christ, this man was healed. And in the gospel, we hear about these people, the two disciples who are going to a mouse. And after experiencing Jesus Christ and realizing or recognizing him at the breaking of the bread, they embarked on the journey and went back to Jerusalem. And we remember yesterday they met the other disciples. And as they were sharing the witnesses that they experienced, Jesus appeared unto them. And that's why we start now the reading of today. What is the message that is being given by these readings? First of all, is actually the truth of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is truly risen. And Jesus Christ who is risen is the one who was crucified. It is not a different Jesus. He is the one who was crucified. And we hear the crucifixion of Jesus Christ was not an accident. It was in the design of God. And we hear all that was prophesied or even talked about in the Old Testament was fulfilled in the death of Jesus Christ. And therefore, this did not become uh, as a surprise to Jesus Christ. He knew about his death. He knew that he is going to suffer. He knew after all this, he is going to rise. And this is a fulfillment of what was prophesied in the Old Testament, and it is a fulfillment of the plan of God. 
The second thing, we see the words of Jesus Christ and they have two things they are telling us. The first one is that the person who was crucified is the same person who has risen. It is not a different person. And the rising is not just a matter of regaining the original body, but it is a transformation into a new person in terms of glorification. And therefore the body we see of Jesus Christ is a glorified body that has really participated in the fullness of God. And again, the second thing we hear about the words of Jesus Christ, they are a symbol of love, the symbol of the love of God to the humanity. And we hear resurrection does not even wipe the woods. It doesn't remove the woods. The woods remain. And the reason why the woods remain is because they are the woods of love. Anytime we see the woods of Jesus Christ, we remember the love of God. And we remember the self-giving of Jesus Christ to his people. So that the forgiveness and repentance may be proclaimed. And those who receive the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and believe in it, then those people would receive repentance and forgiveness and be able to share in the life of God. Again, the reason we are hearing from today's reading is that the journey to peace is a journey of the cross. We hear in the first, in the gospel, Jesus Christ, when he appeared unto them, he told them, peace be with you. And peace, as one person would say, peace is not just given, peace is achieved. And even when you look at the, the, the Beatitudes, Jesus never talked about blessings or even happy are uh, the peaceful. He didn't say that happy are the peaceful. Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. And therefore, peace is not just a matter of um, something that is given. Is something that is achieved. And Jesus Christ achieved peace for and the entire human person, peace for the world through the way of the cross and through the crucifixion and even dying and rising. And what he is telling us also, when he tells us, peace be with you, he is telling us we have also to follow the peace, the, the way of the cross, which is the way of peace. And therefore, the way of peace is the way of self-giving. You cannot experience peace. You cannot be able to achieve peace. You cannot become an instrument of peace if you do not give yourself. Jesus has given us an example. The way of peace is the way of the cross. The way of peace is the way of self-giving. When we give ourselves and when we allow our selfish nature, when we allow ourselves to die and the new person to rise, then we become truly the instrument of peace. Last but not least, Jesus is telling us what is the meaning of resurrection or what is the purpose of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. The sole reason of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is to unite the human person with God. And that is why he is talking about forgiveness. Through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, heaven and earth are united. Divinity and humanity is united. Our lost nature is regained. And we now have it in fullness which is in the participation of, in the divinity of God. And therefore, when we realize this, we have only one thing to do, and this is to repent our sins, it is asking for forgiveness, it is getting back and reuniting ourselves with God, being reconciled with God and one another. May the post-resurrection experiences that we are reflecting on at this particular time, may they help us to be reconciled with God and one another, that truly this resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ may have meaning in our life and help us to unite ourselves more fully with God.
of our hymn is hymn number 551 on page 272 <speaking in Hebrew> Alleluia, Alleluia, Utuku Zwe, Utuku, Baba Mumba Uli Mwengu. Alleluia, Alleluia, Utuku Zwe, Utuku, Baba Mumba Uli Mwengu. Alleluia, Tumempoke ya mkate mazao ya mashamba Leluya Dio ala mpetu ya wema wakonku Leluya, aleluya utuku zwe utuku Baba mumba uli mwengu Leluya Alleluia, utuku zwe, utuku, baba mumba uli mwengu, alleluia. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. And so, overcome with Paschal joy, Every lad, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with their angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, in another for your glory, Hosanna in the highest. This is the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was added, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip, our Bishop, David, the auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most dear spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Peace of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter at my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the God in time is to us for this event.
Our communion hymn is hymn number 536 on page 268. kwa bwana atu alika karamoni tukale mkate wa bingu yeye mwenyewe ni mungu na pia ni mwanada mujamani twende ni wote kwa bwana atu alika karamoni tukale mkate wa bingu yeye ni mkate alisi yeye ni shibe alali jamani twa ni wote kwa bwana atu alika karamuni tukale mkate wa bingu yeye ni mwana wa mungu mtawala mkuu wa bingu jamani twende wote kwa bwana atu alika karamoni tukale mkate wa bingu Yeye ni penzi la baba Yeye ni neno la baba jamani twende ni wote kwa bwana atu alika karamoni tukale mkate wa habingu yeye ni mwanga wa kweli tena ni njia ya kweli jamani twende ni wote kwa bwana atu alika karamoni tukale mkate wa habingu Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, invigorate me. Water from side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within thy horns, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from thee. From the wicked, for defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come unto thee that with thy angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen.
O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this pleasant life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace of Christ, love and serve one another. Our Mass is added. Alleluia, Alleluia. Maria kwa neema unazotu jalia Sante, asante mama wa yesu ulie na uru Uzidi, uzidi kutu omea mpaka sa kufa Mama wa yesu, mama mfariji wetu Asante sana Kwa kutu si mami ya sisi tunaku Shukuru mama mari Mari ya kwa neema unazo Tujali ya asante Mama wa yesu ulie na uru Ma uzidi uzidi kutu ombe Paka sala kufa Ne mazako zina tuti anguvu Asante mama Maria mtakatifu Sisi tunakushukuru mama Mari Kwane ema unazotu jali ya asante Mama wa Yesu ulie na uruma Uzidi, uzidi kutu ombe Paka saaya kufa Kapuchin TV And forward ever, backward never So move ahead Ahead, ahead. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV. Kitambulisho katoliki. I would like to appreciate the Kapuchin TV. We are very, very grateful. And we always encourage people of goodwill, our Christians, to continue supporting the Kapuchin TV. The only Catholic TV. The only one in Kenya. Imagine, the only one. So let us support them. They cover most of our masses here at the Basilica. So as individuals, as groups, let us support uh, Caption TV because they continue uh, reaching out, reaching out to the people of God, wherever they are, to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually. So Caption TV, thank you. May God bless your ministry. Tuendele kufanya kazi, baby number 5106. Seven, eight. Account name: Caps TV. You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or. You can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Sante, wanna 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 S
Here I am, O oh Lord, I come to do your will. Nipo nilipo sema, tazama nimekuja, wana nimekuja, tazama nimekuja kuyafanya mapenzi yako. On Friday, the fifth day of April, a special day dawns for the pious society of the Daughters of St. Paul. The sisters extend a cordial invitation to all Catholic faithfuls to the celebration of the perpetual profession of three of their sisters. My name is Sister Eunice Kasioka Mudui and daughter of St. Paul. I come from Mudale Parish, Kituin Diocese. I am Sister Gentrix Nasirumbi Barasa from the Daughters of St. Paul. I am from Mundika Parish, Bungoma Diocese. My name is Sister Catherine Wanza. I belong to the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. And I come from St. Teresa's Parish in Isli, Nairobi Archdiocese. What attracted the three sisters to the daughters of St. Paul, popularly known as the Media Nuns, is a story of faith, service and dedication. As daughters of St. Paul, we evangelize through the means of social communication. And that is what attracted me most to join the daughters of St. Paul. I knew the daughters of St. Paul through one sister from my parish. And when I read that leaflet, I was attracted to the apostolate because I wanted to serve God and uh, since I also love the means of social communication I felt this is the good place to be. I have learned the way of prayer of the Daughters of St. Paul, community life and apostolate. The Daughters of St. Paul have given me the environment I needed to discern my vocation. And with this act of final profession, I want to commit myself with all my life to work in the evangelization of the peoples within the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. The celebration will commence at 9.30 a.m. at the Daughters of St. Paul Convent, nestled along Ring Road Westlands in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. I would like to invite all of you to my final profession. I have been with the Daughters of St. Paul for 12 years and now I am going to make my final vows on the 5th of April. I would like to thank all those who have supported me in this journey of 12 years in knowing and loving Jesus who is the Master, Way, Truth and Life. I would like to thank all my formators, my family and people of goodwill who have supported me in this journey. May God bless all of you abundantly. I joined the Deltas of St. Paul in the year 2012. I am very grateful to God for journeying with me all this way. I am also grateful to my parents and all the people of goodwill who have been part of this journey. I want to thank the Lord for the journey that I have made, for all the graces I have received, and for all the people who have helped me in my journey of discernment. It has been a very enriching and fruitful journey. I am making my final profession, trusting in the Lord who has called me, because he is faithful. I want to invite all of you to come and celebrate with us in this our great joy. The Right Reverend Bishop Joseph Maluki Mungela of Kitui Diocese is expected to grace the ceremony as the main celebrant of the Eucharistic celebration and the guest of honor. His Lordship Bishop Joseph Mongela from Kitui Diocese and I also expect my family and uh, the people from Busia County. Yes, and all Bungoma Diocese. I also expect many friends whom I have invited. In honor of the spirit of evangelization through broadcasting shared between Capuchin TV and the Daughters of St. Paul's, 
Pauline's Publications Africa, we, the Capuchin TV family, will bring you live streams of the event on television, YouTube and Facebook concurrently. The trio, Sister Catherine Wanza, Sister Eunice Kasioka and Sister Gentrix Nasirumbi, will each hold a Thanksgiving Mass on different dates in the month of April. Later, they will host family and friends in celebrating home masses in Ikalakala village in Machakos County, Isaani village in Kitui County, and Nasikina village in Busia County, respectively. <laughs> Capuchin TV celebrates you, Sister Catherine, Sister Eunice, and Sister Gentrix for your bold step. May you live to light up hearts in a special way as you touch lives through evangelization by means of social communication. Vandu Babusia, Vakaribisha Sana, 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 Mwiche Hushereke, Inyangeo, Inyangeo, Avinyanga, Ihongo, Mwiche Hushereke, Alala, Murio Muno, Vari Indire. Nanyenda kumado chenyo onde and maki tui chari niki. Nika natu tanie wamwe wito uwa kutuika sister. Na andu onde manga yala muimbisi kuma galisi kipadu kanyo muke tutane wamwe. Tutu ugienga imu bea nundu wa wito uu. Na kuboyea mawito angia ingi. Na wakaribishe ni nyote kwa shere yetu ya kufunga nadhiri za daima. Kujeni tushereke pamoja. Tutafrai sana kuwaona. Karibuni. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart rejoices. Psalms chapter 28 verse 7. On Monday, the 15th of April, 2024, the Capuchin TV antenna will transmit signals from Kebugoye village in Kisi to mark the Silver Jubilee celebrations of Sister Mary Lucy Marcy of the Congregation of the Sisters of the Blessed Virgin Mary, SBV. The Eucharistic celebration will commence at 10 a.m. East African time at the Nyansiongo Parish in Kisi Diocese, led by the Right Reverend Joseph Mairura Okemwa, the Shepherd of Kisi Bishopric. You are all invited to join us in celebrating the gift of religious life physically in Kebogoe Village or virtually on Capuchin Television or its corresponding YouTube and Facebook platforms. Capuchin TV extends warm congratulations to you, Sister Mary Lucy, for your dedicated service in the Lord's Vineyard for the past 25 years. Happy anniversary to you! Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Be well,
I will praise you with all my heart, O Lord, my God. I will proclaim your greatness forever. Psalms 86 verse 12 With joyful heart and gratitude to the Lord, the parish priest of Tabaka Parish along with the Christians and the family of the late John Onchi Kumarima and Robina Yabondo Onchiku cordially invite you to the Silver Jubilee Thanksgiving Mass of their daughter, Sister Mary Esther Oyuma Onchiku of the Sisters of the Blessed Virgin. This momentous occasion will take place on Saturday the 13th of April this year at her home St. Mary's Nyabigena Girls Secondary and Primary Schools. The Holy Mass will commence at 10 a.m. and will be brought to you live on Capuchin TV and across its various social media platforms. This momentous occasion will be graced by Bishop Joseph Mairura of the Catholic Diocese of Kisi. Capuchin TV extends heartfelt congratulations to Sister Mary Esther as she marks her silver jubilee, wishing her God's abundant blessings, strength and good health as she continues her service in the Lord's vineyard. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. Ni kwenye vitongoji duni vya kwetu ambapo pana ukombozi Nani mkombozi? Nani anayekombolewa? Na ni ukombozi upi? Kitongoji cha kwetu ni mojawapo wa vitongoji vya Mombasa. Kitovu chake ni Padre Michael. Padre Mkatoliki ambaye amejiza titi na kungoa na anga safari mahususi ya kukabiliana na dawa za kulevya, uhalifu na uozo wa tabia kwenye jamii yake. Siwezi kuendelea hivyo. Nimechoka na maisha tunayoishi na nahitaji kujitoa. Siwezi endelea kufanya hivi. Hauwezi kujitoa. Kumbuka tuli hapa. Maisha haya ndio tunayo. Kwenye parokia yake mpya ya kwetu, mimi ndio badalgeni hapa. Father Michael. Father Gabriel. Padre Michael anania kuya kuinua vijana wanaohangaika na kuwapa tumaini kwenye maisha yao. Tuko na kazi kubwa siku ya leo. Ushindi mkubwa huo ndani. Kwenye kukabiliana na changamoto chungu nzima za vitongojini, Padre Michael anakutana ana kwa ana na vijana wengi ambao wamenaswa na mtego wa utumiaji wa dawa za kulevya na uhalifu. Vijana hao ambao hapo mbeleni walikuwa vielelezo na haswa kanisani. Kwa sasa, wamejipata kwenye dimbwi la ukiwa na mahangaiko na kukata tamaa. Hivi lakini wewe, unausika na nini? Nesikia kwa makini sara. Sina wakati wa kusisho na madai ya siyo kwa msini. Kwenye simulizi la ukombozi, tunangamua wazi mahangaiko na simulizi ya vijana hawa. Kwanzia kwa sara, mwana harakati ambaye amejitolea kuwasaidia wanarika wenzake. Hadi kwa Kelvin. Mhalifu aliyebadilisha mwendo na anayetafuta ukombozi. Simulizi hii inapigia mbizi hisia za safari ndefu ya mabadiliko na kufanywa upya. Hata kukiwa na pingamizi ndani na nje ya vitongoji hivi, Padre Michael anaendelea na nia yake isiyotingika, ikipigwa jeki pakubwa na kanisa na wanaojitolea. Kwa pamoja wanasimama kama mwanga wa tumaini wakiwa na nia kupanda mbegu ya mabadiliko na ukombozi. Mwana Michael, tuna matumaini makuu ya kukuza jamii iliyo njema. Lakini pamoja na hayo, hatuwezi kusahau changamoto tunazopitia kama kanisa. Safari kama sio rais rafiki yangu. Tutangangana hivi.
hapa katikati ya mapambano ndipo ninapoanza ungana nasi hapa Kapuchin TV kila Jumamosi saa moja jioni na Jumapili saa tisa na nusu uko mbozi